Is this thing on? One, two, one, two. All right. I think, in theory, we're actually live here. I'd be really interested to know if you guys can hear the music I'm hearing, because I'm attempting to listen to actual real music, and not just like royalty-free music. I guess I shouldn't say that. Royalty-free music is absolutely real music. Some of it's like, I've been listening to White Bat Audio, the gentleman who... Uh, makes the music that we purchased to use for all of our server content and stuff because it's this like awesome 1980 synth kind of like John Carp. I think he even has a playlist called like John Carpenter style like kind of dark horror synth type stuff along with like some like I don't know stuff that I think it's being called cyberpunk I don't know if that's accurate but you know that kind of stuff it's pretty great but I, I listen to it all the time but but for some reason, I keep getting flagged on Facebook for it, so I am not going to be doing that this time. Plus, we're going to be making instructional videos. There's been a lot of questions as to like how to do, how do I get on the server, all that kind of stuff. So I thought I'm just going to shoot all the footage, hang out with you all, walk through the process of basically installing, like from installing the Daisy to finding the server to yada yada yada, and. Um, yeah, it should be pretty good. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to help some people with some of these problems. Some of them, they're like little daisy bugs and quirks that, like, people equate to the server as being issues, and they're not. They're actual issues with the um, freaking game itself, because the game <laughs> is what the game is, you know. But anyway, so to get started, I guess, let's go ahead and download... Daisy. So as you can see, like we have it, we don't have it installed at all. I removed all the settings and everything. I also, because our server is heavily modded, um, I went ahead and unsubscribed to all the mods. So we'll show you how to like load those for the first time. We pushed a pretty big update today, actually. Um, basically we rolled all of the free content and open source content that we could into our mod which like took our amount of mods on the server from like near 50 to like 35 or 36 something like that i think um which is just great for performance optimization and everything so hopefully that's okay and it's still working but yeah don't have a whole lot of uh, time unfortunately to stream today i got a couple other projects i'm working on today that need to get some time um but yeah anyway let's kind of jump in here and just go from scratch um so after purchasing daisy you're gonna go ahead and install it to wherever this is probably going to be a little boring because we're going to be downloading stuff but um so yeah the point is like the audio that i'm using right now won't be what's used in the videos like, I'll just be cutting it up, basically, because there's no way I'm going to show somebody us downloading nearly 15 gigabytes worth of info. I haven't gotten to play Icarus yet. I really want to, but I just haven't had the opportunity. What are other games like that? Let's just take a look here. The old Steam library. To do row by row games that I've bought, like I wanted this to be good. So many games that is completely incorrect. Total time played 14 minutes. I, I've played through that game multiple times, it's not great, but I enjoyed it, it's fun. That's the whole thing with being a fan of like the Alien trilogy. <laughs> it's like, and I, by trilogy, I mean series of movies, I guess. Um, which I'm a huge fan. Like, my entire build is alien themed. I have multiple, like. You think I'm joking? Like, seriously, there's just alien stuff all over my desk walls i just adore the movies and i adore the stories and i adore ridley scott's work i don't know i just think they're great but 
the reality is the last few haven't been awesome. Um, like the alien versus predator crossovers and stuff. Like I really, I enjoyed Prometheus quite a bit. And let's see, what was the other one? Alien Covenant. I enjoyed them both, but like the whole thing is if you're a fan of this series, that doesn't mean you think they're all great, but that doesn't mean you don't like them either. They're fun. Like I love them. Isolation was amazing. See, that's completely incorrect. This was one of the first games, like when I first got my Oculus DK2 kit, this was one of the first games um, that you could go in and like turn on VR support. It wasn't fully supported at all. Like it would make you sick, um, but it, parts of it were there. Um, ooh, that game was terrifying. Ages of Empire, of course, played forever. You know, never really played the Arma series. I don't even know why I have these, to be totally honest. It's a fun game. Ashes of Singularity. Let's see. Of course, Bioshock series, absolutely excellent. This game I bought, it's like a, a flying around like a bird game. It is so weird. And again, numbers, not accurate. Zero is incorrect. Kieran, this is sort of like... um. It's kind of like a little bit Thing-esque, where you just kind of like run around and wreak havoc and around like a little station. It's a really fun little platformer. Very cool. Blair Witch. This game, that one might be accurate. 74 minutes might be accurate, because this game scared the absolute bejesus out of me. Like, I could not handle it. It was terrifying. Um, my dear friend Ulka works for the company that... I believe made this game now, which is so freaking cool. She's such a rock star. They're so lucky to have her. Uh, Counter-Strike, the one I pretty much kept head played through. Again, not accurate. Dark Souls, of course. Let's see. Let's see what it, I, don't, I don't even know how long, many hours I've put into this game. 3,261. Maybe these are correct. It doesn't feel right. I haven't played. That's going to be zero because I just bought this. I haven't gotten to play it yet. Pretty excited to. This is very much a thing, which is the other, like, one of my other top favorite movies of all time. Absolutely adore the thing. Even the, like, weird remakes, like Black Mountain Side, which is an awesome kind of, like, new twist telling on the story. Really great. Love them all. Dooms, of course. Earthworm Jam. Earthworm Jam's great. Skyrim. Yeah, that's totally wrong. This game's really fun. It's kind of a... Um, how to describe it? It's like a, a sort of building game. Come on. Oh, here's somebody. I'm not going to show somebody else streaming right now, but... Um, yeah, it's kind of like a, I don't know, post-apocalypse, a little steampunky. Let's turn off the audio here. But, um, it's super cool. Uh, so like you like are dropped in a radiation zone and you know, you go out and actually, ooh, side missions. Um, you have to like detoxify like through radiation and find clean sources of water, but then there's also toxic rain. So there's like a whole new element to it. I love games like this. They're billions, frozen state, like any sort of, you know, thing that takes me back to the old Warcraft days. <laughs> yeah, are, are pretty fun. I absolutely adore this one though. And, and it's beautiful. Like that's great guys, but there we go. You see what I mean? It's just a, come on, a beautiful city er, and design and everything. It's really fun. Um, highly recommend this game. But I love games. I've realized over the last couple of days because I've been playing um, these series, these two. I play these two so much. Like, I just bought many motorways. Like, I don't know. Couple days ago, 
last week sometime. But any sort of these like system design building games, I freaking love, which is so weird because I end up doing in my free time like what I also do at work. <laughs> so strange. Like my career, like this is the stuff that I love doing. It's the stuff that gets me excited. And apparently so much so that I it carries over to how I play silly little games like this. And I shouldn't say silly because this is a delightful game. If you haven't played Mini Metro or Mini Motorways, I highly recommend it. You basically, yeah, it's all about guiding traffic and creating efficient systems um, out of things that you don't have control over, but based on real cities. So, yeah, like serious metropolitan areas that you have their like real topography and like geographical layout. Really fun. Highly, highly, highly recommended. They are so wonderful. But yeah, any of the system design games. <laughs> this is such a weird one. Super fun, though. Oh, my goodness. You know what's so weird is that, like... Like, our internet is pretty redonkulous, if I'm being honest. But there's some sort of, like, limit coming into place that for some reason Steam every once in a while gets super throttled. I mean, I said that. 71? Get out of here. Hmm. That's very interesting. I will say this. We do have a lot of stuff plugged into this network. The cameras, all my IoT devices, like everything. There we go. Those are numbers I like to see. But that down number is way off. I'm going to have to try look into that a little bit. But it's not like we got anything to, else to do, but look at um, other games here, I guess. Let's see what else we got in here. No Man's Sky, of course. So many fun ones from Rogue Legacy. Such a silly little game. Fun little platformer where you, um, yeah, you end up getting like, because it's your bloodline, you end up getting like different weird things that like happen to you, like that are sort of like the, the way that you have to fight changes every single time. So you pick who you, once you die, you pick your seceder, and, like, they only have different things. Like, they may be old, but have, like, a giant sword, or be small and super fast, so they can't get hit. Um, the whole world might be in black and white, because they might be colorblind. Like, great stuff like that. Super, super, super fun game. Super fun game. You know what? I guess we can... We could unblock our stuff over on um, Discord. There's no reason for us to be muted over there while we're just putzing around here. Mm -mm. <laughs> this is classic. So many games. It's so funny. I have so many, and yet I always end up like, oh, let's play some Skyrim. It's so weird. I really want to do like a replace, like a playthrough series and do all of the Tomb Raiders beginning to end. I think that would be super fun. Like, how big is this file? 300 megabytes. Incredible. And look at the detail. Show us the store page. Seriously? I, get, I mean, I get it, but. I mean, look at that. What kind of a fun playthrough would that be? Oh my goodness, I can still hear them. Look at the detail in the face. Tremendous. Yeah, that would be a fun one. That would be a fun series to do all these. If you've never seen this game, oh my goodness. Do they not have a video? 
Oh, come on. Uh, this is the Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful game. Creepy, too. Here we go. Um, but even, like, today, this one holds up. I played it a game the other night. Like, just went through kind of the, a few of the opening scenes just for fun. I was just like, man, this is beautiful. I mean, look at this. It stands up today. It's really, really good. Yeah, it'd be a fun one to revisit, too. I remember in the first, like, full playthrough I did, it was a little tedious at times. But. How are we doing on them downloads? My goodness. This is just base game. We haven't even done the mods yet. Mods is going to be about equal size. Which is going to be a little bit ridiculous. But so it goes. Yo, Shadow Man, what up? We are going to be making on some tutorials today, basically. I wanted to get a few how-tos done, so I'm just basically shooting the B-roll of walking through it and just thought I'd stream chat over it since I'll do another cut with a new voiceover later. Uh, the big thing on the server was we pushed a big update today, so make sure you unload all your mods before you join next time and let the Steam Launcher manage it because, my goodness, there was a ton. We basically folded, like, I think double digits, like multiple. 10, 12 uh, or so mods into our own mod, which means we are no longer reliant on the mod creators to make sure they're up to date and stuff. It should just help with downtime and allow it, give us a little bit more control. Um, all of our stuff is open source and it's all available on GitHub, so anybody's welcome to use any of our stuff um, as long as they have fun with it and ideally contribute. I don't remember if we downloaded the Daisy standalone launcher or not. We didn't. I guess we could do that here in the interim. So we need to grab the standalone launcher because for some reason everyone wants to use this one. I don't understand it. But the standalone launcher is just another application that you have to have <laughs> um, in order to be able to access like custom servers. So we'll go ahead and download it. Hmm. See, this is what I never understand. Like, I never have any luck with this thing. It's such a pain. We may not even be doing the full video on it if we can't get it to work. We've never officially said we want to support this. Um, I don't know. It's just going to be weird. Like, I, I just can't stand it. It's never worked right. Plus, like, if you go to support or, like, you try to do anything, like, oh, let's go to the support forum. Psych. Um... Here, uh, let's download tools. Nope, no, download. Download this and install it. Download. 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 Nothing. Broken links. Like, just everything about this is just broken all the freaking time. And I don't know. Hey, buy this domain. See what I mean? It's just garbage. The whole thing is just hot garbage. So 
if it's up and running, like I, I messed with it last week for a little bit and actually had it up and running for a while because, I mean, since barrier to entry is one of the things that we've been working on trying to get more people in the server more often, like where we, we need to lower the gates so we actually like remove the welcome stream stuff to Discord so people can just get right in and start seeing the community. We're doing some stuff like that. And this was like one of them, like, People are using the Daisy standalone launcher for whatever reason. People want to use that freaking potato. It's awful. So they try to find the server and they can't. So it's basically rendering our advertising efforts a little ineffective. So we need to figure out some way of improving that. But we'll keep working. Yeah, man, it's just a complete turd. I can't stand it. And the Steam Launcher is great. Like, why anyone decided there needed to be an alternative is beyond me, unless it's for, like, being able to access things that, and do things that Steam doesn't, I don't know, support natively, and Daisy doesn't support natively, which, whatever, you know, there's a huge creator and modder community with this game, so. Like, I don't know, I appreciate them. Oof, I guess we can just keep one of those sort of, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. So many options. It's a pretty fun game. realize I'm not helping our bandwidth issues but again another beautiful game resource and sort of you know city management <laughs> you know I mean games like this were such an integral part of like my first adoption into PC gaming like there were so many of these you know there's infinite amounts of these games I feel like doesn't that take you back I mean, I guess it doesn't if you're, like, seven, but how do you not love this? Like, it makes me feel like I'm a kid again, and I'm first discovering the magic of PC gaming. Wonderful game. I think I'm realizing why all my numbers are weird, because I have a family account, because I have a couple different handles, like a public facing one, and then like kind of my old, old, old personal one. So I guess depending upon which one I start from, those numbers are gonna be a little bit off. But it makes sense that from the bunker one, I've this billion year bunker one I've done. Yeah, man, nails are going for a pretty penny. For sure. Um, we made some tweaks. It's interesting, a couple of people said they haven't found them, and yet, like, I found a ton. Um, North Haven? Like, I don't think anybody goes out there. That's a ton of loot on that island. Like, it, it's worth checking out. Like, but I check over there sometimes, like, I found wire stuff, like, no problem. Things that everybody's looking for. Kind of weird. This game... It had a little bit of moment in the sun for a while. Like, I mean, people are streaming it right now, you know? But, um... Yeah, like you're... Stranded out in the... Woods in Brazil? It's very interesting. And it's, it's a good one. <laughs> yeah oh that's great that's wonderful yeah super fun game highly recommend checking that one out too I've, I've burnt a lot of hours yeah 30 hours is not accurate this one always messed me up because <laughs> it was so freaking creepy um, 
for I don't know. I've had this game for a really long time, I feel like. And it um same premise, you know, you're surviving and you gotta like go off the land and everything, but you're, you survive a plane crash. Great opening setting because you get to go through luggage and stuff and find things. But then you go out and try to survive in the world. A lot of crafting. Getting sick. You can get burnt. You, I don't know. It's just a super fun. Oh, and there are these crazy, scary, like, zombies cannibals. Ooh. See? Yeah. No, thank you. No, thank you. Scary. Good game, though. I think I need to reset my modem or network hardware. It's been a minute since I've done that. Have a good one, man. Thanks, Shadow. Appreciate it. Everybody check out Shadow Zip Man. Uh, Hunter first streaming on Twitch if you haven't. Dude's awesome. A lot of good DayZ content. I remember I bought this thinking it was like collect cat game or something that I could play with my nieces but then I remember there's something off about it I don't remember what it was but the whole point oh my goodness that's blinding come on you um, the whole point was to find something I could play with the kids you know and I was like oh a cat collecting game it's yeah <laughs> Maybe I should give it a try after all. Oh, there's cake making. Ooh. Well, that's pretty cool. I like that premise. It's a big cat. See, this was it. I thought you made a cat cafe. And so you had to make, like, what are you doing to that cat, young lady? Like, you had to make, like, a, yeah, an animal shelter. I thought that was the whole point. I don't know. It does look pretty cute. Maybe I need to give it another try. Maybe we will. We will see. We will see. My goodness. Come on. Anti cheat. Open source rudimentary anti cheat system for economics, but it can be excluded upon. Hmm. Hmm. Some additional crafting. Interesting. That's one of the things I do love about this game is all the the fun stuff that mod creators will that's a big screenshot make to improve the gameplay. It's a fun community to be involved with. Oh my goodness. Smellsy? What? Very weird. Catch rain, eh? Huh. So does it recognize that it's raining? That's interesting. 
I always thought you should be able to like leave um no like things out like if you left a pot out it would fill with rainwater. There's so many mods for this game. Skip nights. How does that work? Equipment systems, eh? Let's check them out. Those are pretty cool. Pretty cool. That might be one worth checking out. Kind of neat. But anyway, let's get back to what we're doing. So once Daisy has finished downloading, we're going to go ahead and install and get two pop-up windows. So once the game's installed, you'll see this fun little launcher. The parameters, you want to go in to profile name and type in the name that you want in your in-game profile. Mods, as you can see, we don't have any just yet because we haven't downloaded them. And for the servers, it's right here. To find the 42 month after server, you're going to want to go to your community tab and you're going to search for 42 months server should pop right up if you want to go ahead and add it as a favorite it should show up also if it bumps off your uh, favorites list you can often find it under recents hitting join this little guy is really important because it'll let you understand what mods you have what you don't and what you need to get on the server so you're going to want to make sure that everyone is accounted for it's either going to be loaded or you're going to say subscribe if you're not actually have if you're not subscribed to the mod um, from another, another server instance go ahead and hit set up dlc and mods and join it'll go through the process of downloading all of the mods that you need if you already have all the mods that's fine you still want to like actually go through that process as you can see downloading another set of downloads so this is actually going to take a while as each one of these downloads like Deer Isle is going to be big. So it'll be yeah a minute before these get brought back up and downloaded. Um, I'm actually going to go use the restroom real quick. Um, I'm just going to leave this up though. I'll be right back.
Hmm. Are we? Let's see here. I also, sadly, need to redo like every single one of my Elgato st uh, stream deck <laughs> buttons. I don't know. I need to quit fidgeting with this stuff, man. Like, I, I just can't stop trying to make these little things better. It is just not working real well. tell you what though I wish there was a way to do shared like, I wish there was a way that I could start like a Spotify if I could create like a playlist for a video but that it was synced to the timing so if you came in 10 minutes into the stream you would still be joining the music that we we're listening to but through something with rights management like Spotify or something that would be wonderful like that way I didn't actually have to stream it but you could just join me in listening to it and let it sink in the background you know if we would all be listening it would just be like if we were in the same town and we turned on a radio station at the same time same concept but knowing how tricky all that is not a can of worms I'm too interested in tackling. You know, one thing we could do while we're waiting for this stuff to download is talk about the um, talk about our giveaway. Um, so over on our wiki, which lives on our GitHub, we have a new section on monthly giveaways where we're actually going to be giving away, um, yeah, just cool stuff, basically, like once a month for players and community members that have met sort of the criteria. Everyone's name will be entered once who meets the criteria into a list um, and assigned a number just completely randomly. And um, we <laughs> will draw, use like a multi-sided die, draw one person, that person's the winner for the month. And then we'll take all the items from this list here and uh, got it. We'll take all the items from this list, do another multi-sided die and basically see who wins what like we got some pretty cool stuff like got some some headphones nice headset from razor uh this is actually the same model um or style i guess i should say that i have these sort of like they look like i don't know old pilots like comms headsets they're pretty great and i enjoy mine quite a bit um, yeah, some cool giveaways, you know, like a lot of RGB, <laughs> lots of, um, computer and gaming parts. So pretty quick M.2, another headset. Most of these things, actually, I should say most, all of these things are things that we found, um, or I've gotten from uh, different like things since I buy computer components and stuff on the side. You know, I look for rigs, things that are for sale, stuff like that. And every once in a while I'll find stuff. I've also met a gentleman who does in, buys Amazon, Amazon crates, like return crates, which is just filled with stuff. Um, he buys more expensive ones, which are generally filled with home electronics which is like his bread and butter, but like he doesn't know anything about the computer stuff, apparently. So <laughs> he, if he gets stuff, he shoots me an email and shows it to me and I give him an honest 
bid on what I would, you know, pay for all of it, and that's normally how it goes. And some of the stuff I just bought myself, like these Stadia kits, actually pretty fun. Like, it's just console gaming, but it's just a really cool idea. Um, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I really like Google Stadia, but um, it um, and the fact that you can play with a Chromebook is just dope. Um, it, um, as, like, a Google One subscriber and, like, I don't know, we use, we have, like, a monthly terabyte, a couple terabytes of data we use from them. Google is our phone provider. Um, we both use Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. My wife and I use our phones, like, we buy and rent our movies through YouTube and Google Play, so we're... You, Nest Cams, we use everything, like almost everything in our home is run through the Google uh, ecosystem. And as a result, you get like discounts a lot. And so like every once in a while, we'll be like, get a free Stadia set. And like, sure, sign up to it, sign up for it, and they send it over. This I paid for with my own money because I wanted to put it in because it's so much fun. We all know what it is, though. We don't need to load it up. Uh, so I actually have this mouse. I should say I had this mouse until my <laughs> wife started using it. And I never got it back. Because um, it's a, a really comfortable mouse, like both for gaming and for work. Like I'm kind of, I need my, you know, 10, 12 buttons on the side of my mouse so I use the Naga Trinity with the replaceable side so like I couldn't use it for gaming because I rely so much on my customized keys and keypad but um, it's a great mouse great mouse I used it with my Razer Blade 15 wonderful for on the go uh, it also comes with a yeah a mouse pad but anyway lots of stuff it should be pretty cool all the info is up on our wiki, which you can, you know, get to from our website. How we doing over here? My goodness. 7.5 gig. I think that's the um, Deer Isle. I think that's the actual map that's being downloaded there, which is... That's a big one. Hmm. You know, I've had some interesting problems. I've been starting to use stream, uh, restream, since I've been pushing stuff over to YouTube and stuff. But just haven't been having good success with it. Seems to lag out quite a bit. But, yeah. But, you know, now that we actually have Steam installed. Let's load. Go ahead and install the DayZ standalone launcher even though it's probably not going to work but it will so once this is finished we'll show you the difference between the two and one working predictably and one just deciding it's not going to work for whatever reason which is super annoying super super annoying We haven't even broken like this list yet. I guess we can peek. There we go. Now we're starting to get into them. 
so they it's like some of the ones that are like the bigger items like monk hearts the things deer isle are mod packed because it contains like 12 different 14 different mods and it one of them being the former mvs gear that we've edited and customized for our stuff man it's a big file um so yeah i mean total server size with all the mods and everything i think is is just over 20 gig which is huge huge but so it goes there's so many just stock daisy servers out there i don't get it I love the fact that we've, as a community, kind of customized and shaped this into kind of what we want it to be. It's just been a lot of fun. <laughs> we got our, like, actual first, like, I say legit, and legit in the sense that it stuck to the ground snow. Oh, that's a cool thing to wake up to. Uh, I was out in the van working this week. Been doing that more often just to kind of get out of the house. Um, and I saw, like, the first snowflakes of the year, which was pretty cool. It was a fun thing to see. But this is, like... I woke up and it was white, so I was like, oh, yeah, so you can still see the ground and a few leaves left on the ground, but it was nice to see. Like right now, if you guys could hear the Nine Inch Nail song that I hear, I think this would be a lot more enjoyable and we'd have more to talk about. Windstride's another big one, so our, let's see what other big ones out there still. 42 months R is the Teddy weapons pack is huge. Snafu is huge. Much stuff is pretty damn big. Oof, and some big boys. Interestingly, I've been getting this weird thing where people have been like command shift name i think in their mod thing like they're they're manually putting it in instead of using the properties or maybe they're coming from the standalone launcher i don't know but their names look so dumb um yeah just a quick example like these are people that are obviously putting in their own like <laughs> commands within their properties things to be able to join the server it's just like, come on, man. Like, just click proper physio. It's so easy. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So, I don't know. That's why we're doing these silly little videos right now. So much to download, my goodness. Awesome. It's a big one too. We've actually been working on our economy quite a bit to make sure that this is actually like really fruitful. Um, and same with hunting, like we have fishing, which is like my favorite thing, like addition to the game, <laughs> I think, is being able to just, you know, step out and fish. Um, and we've made all of those things quite lucrative. Like if you, if you just want to be a hunter, and sell pelts and meat or a fisherman and sell fish you can absolutely do that and not just like survive but get geared up pretty quick um which is part of the interesting balance of this game is being able to like i don't know 
keep things going the way they are. Like you want people to be able to get up quickly um, because you end up having to get back up so many times. So it's an interesting kind of premise, but it, it's definitely one that rings true. goodness teddy is big how big is it almost 2.6 gigabytes worth of weapons and silly stuff like face masks <laughs> it's so funny oh i wonder if you guys can hear this like i've always wanted to have one of these but i've never so let's just try this what the oh it didn't work I didn't actually curse, but so a million years ago, I had some freaking thing for a voice mod, which is hilarious. I don't know if it actually works though, but like, ah, uh, there it is. <laughs> what the? cat I've always wanted to be able to do that that's the first time I've ever tried I bet that's hilarious and by hilarious I mean god awful oh my goodness this is taking so long what else do we have I, I, I did three sound effects oh this one for when I see people and I don't know what this one is but it's kind of hilarious it's like a weird little emoji of somebody like with their eyes closed look like singing I don't know what it is We need to replace that one. That's way too long. That needs replaced. That needs to be replaced. Okay, ready? Boop, bop, bop. Whoa, all right. Do you guys hear that? Is that what I sound like? Oh my goodness. Very weird. Man to woman. Chance? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. That is super weird. I don't know. It's like they're always right on the cusp of being decent, but there's just something so off about it. It's so weird. T-Pain? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. That's great. Okay. 8 bit beep boop bop. All right. Actually, that's just that's just what I sound like. I can never hear myself in a monitor. Like it just freaks myself out. Evil AI. You had me at evil AI. I don't know. <laughs> can you Yeah, oh, okay. You can change the pitch. Yeah, that's super weird. All right, whatever. Yeah, so I got to figure out how to get all that stuff up and working. Basically, I like redid everything on the Elgato side because I have the cam now, Stream Deck, the mic, um, which is pretty great. The the mic I kind of adore, especially the the sound mixer, like. This little dude, worth it in and of itself. Like, got the main mic, got our output. So, you know, see actual levels. That's funny, because I don't think you guys can hear this. I hope not anyway, otherwise this video is going to get brought down right now, because it's definitely Trent Reznor. But, like, whatever I'm playing in the browser, whatever game I'm playing, it can roll in the mix. It's so nice. And the mic quality is pretty decent. I hate my voice, but it actually doesn't sound too bad. Not my voice, but the mic sounds really nice. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Does it look like we're getting close to being there? All 
All right, I'm going to jump up and stretch my legs real quick because I have a feeling we're going to get into about an hour or so plus of this. So give me just a couple minutes here. Once all these downloads get started or get completed, we'll jump right in. Bye-bye. Why am I not surprised that Snafu isn't finished downloading? This does not surprise me. I have like the second cheapest boom mic boom. I don't, it's not bad. Like I'm not complaining about it. It's actually like really quite stiff, you know, to use, which I actually quite like. Um, it's a little bit more minimalistic than the ones that have everything internalized, you know, but I keep struggling with mic position. Audio has always been a struggle for me. I don't understand it, but it always has been a struggle. I really need to update the welcome rules. Not even halfway done. Did we see how big it was? 3.4 gigabytes worth of weapons and weapons attachments. My lord. I guess we could do a pitch for y'all to help contribute to this project. We publish all of our stuff to our GitHub. Um, the only thing you can't get access to, obviously, is like player information as well as like passwords and shit. Like all those files have been ignored. Um, same with our databases. So, like, it, it is possible for you to download a complete server instance. Uh, you know, plug in the mods and stuff because some of the stuff we had to use. Um, what LFT? I forget what it's called. Large file issues, um, so it skips them. But you could download and make your own forty-two month after server locally if you wanted to test things or become a code monkey and help us. We're always looking for people who would be interested in jumping in and helping make everything just a little bit better. That would be super cool. Um, but yeah, we pretty much publish everything here. Um, so also if you're a server creator um, and you want to figure you're trying to use airdrops on your Deer Isle server, come over and grab ours. You're welcome to use them. Um, you want to make your own, like add more. We're constantly updating and changing ours anyway. So grab whatever you want. More than welcome to use it. Uh, would love it if you forked it though. And, uh, and we could help contribute to each other's, make everything better. That would be super cool. 
Okay, then these last ones are going to fly. I think this is the last big one. Yeah, this, if white bat audio gets pulled off. I can't, I guess I can't sh play for you what I'm listening to. This giant. Ooh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. If you're playing along at home. So all the mods have been downloaded, so they're now here locally, and it should try launching the game up. So yeah, once all your mods are loaded, you'll notice. So the way, here, actually let me do it this way. It says the game's running. <gasps> it was running. Man, that took a long time to load up. All right. So first time loading in on the server, you'll see the deer aisle, which is the default updated load screen that's pretty cool uh we will be replacing that with our own again here shortly i just wanted to make sure all the mods excluding ours played well together we've had like a lot of thrash and downtown. we've changed maps a few times in the last six months and like i don't know i just want people to be stable for a while so like i don't plan on doing any changes in this stuff no map changes for a while. Nothing that requires a wipe. The big thing today with combining all of our mods was probably like the last thing that I'm going to do. goodness for a first time load there's something we're missing here what is happening It's not even the, oh, uh, okay. So the first time you'll have to run through, you'll get a couple of these. So you'll say agree. A proper load in will happen. And we may have to actually accept battle eye again definitely have to go in and turn off this music that'll be one of the first things we do come on buddy <laughs> I understand 
understand. Okay. So, yeah, that was all we had to do. And we are in. Ready to go. Uh, some players have been having, whoa. Some players have been having issues where Like every time you come in, you'll have a like the cursor. Like you'll see the Daisy treated cursor, um, and if you try to do anything, you can't interact with any of your menus or anything. And then if you hit like tab or escape, it just quits the whole game, shuts the whole game down. It's really hard. I've had that happen a couple times. Like I know what they're talking about, but I it rarely, rarely happens when I play, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to replicate it, so maybe we can do that a couple times, since the whole point of the stream right now is to be gathering B-roll. Um, let's see. First things first. We're gonna go in, and we're gonna set it, so anytime the game is playing, even if it's background and I'm tabbed out, um, I can still, the graphics will still be running and I'll still hear the sound. I don't think you can do just sound, yeah. Um, but this is nice because you can hear something crazy starts happening. You also have all your settings. We only roll at extreme. Come on now. Um, but what one thing we are going to do is set this down to windowed. This way, uh, we can jump in and out quickly. Okay. Our FPS are all over the place. So let's see if we can't recreate that problem. Actually, let's try to just quit out. Ugh, what is this? <laughs> this song is hilarious. I always think of Mitch Hedberg when I hear the song. All right. Um, so, let's say that you have quit Steam, restarted your computer, whatever. The next time you load up Steam, You'll get all the annoying pop-ups that you get. And then if you open DayZ, the way you're supposed to, right-clicking here, launching. If you go to your mods, first thing, you'll see that they're already checked and loaded. Normally, if there's an update pushed, they'll go ahead and they'll get updated. But what I recommend everyone doing just to be safe, is clicking unload all your mods, then going to your server, finding, I always go to recent because it seems to always be there. I click join, and I let the server pick the mods, set up DLC and mods, and join. This has like a 98% success rate, which in Daisy is like a thousand percent. So now we just sit back and wait for the game to get loaded up. It's interesting that the game is taking so long to load after downloading. <laughs> it was definitely not this way before, but like right now, like if we go, oh, let's see, there, there we go. Well, actually, let's let it load up in the background. Maybe that'll help jumpstart this problem that other people have been seeing. Another thing is when I let it load up, I generally just let it go straight through, like main primary window. Nothing else really running. Oh my goodness, that's bright. And then we just go from there.
So slow to load. Come on, homie. If it gets past the halfway point, you normally know you're good. But if it hangs right here, mm, this is a sign that normally there's something wrong with one of your mods. Or there's like a instance, like the update number is not the same between the server and the local client. If it gets past here, you're normally pretty good, but let's see. Maybe we need to just click in. Wait, we're really priming it to not work well, so <laughs> hopefully it doesn't. Oh, okay. So this is, we got it on the first try. That's crazy, okay. So normally when you load in, everything is good. You won't see your cursor in this UI. Like this combination, like even with this on, like you shouldn't be able to see, right? So I can like raise my fist, I can do yeah. stuff, but like you shouldn't have the cursor. And if I try to open, I'm hitting tab right now and nothing's happening. So I'm not able to open my sub menu. What most people will do is get frustrated and hit escape or like quit or tab out. What you actually want to do is hit Alt and Enter, toggle it to full screen, which looks bananas right now. Let me back out of this full screen and we'll go back to windowed. Hit escape once and it'll pull it up. And then if you hit escape again, hey, you're okay. That's all you gotta do. You just toggle it between full screen and windowed and it should fix that. I don't know what that is. I've seen it on a lot of modded servers. Don't know how to explain it. It's just one of those things. It seems like the heavier the modded server is the weird and the more it gets messed up. But yeah, you should be able to jump into your window, you know, into your menu, see all your stuff. Pop off a couple rounds because you know you need to. We could go down here and go fishing. Look how nice that looks. Ooh, I bet there's some good eats in there. Are those zombies around? Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, well, that's pretty much it for that. I mean, that was a success. That's great. You were able to replicate that on the first try. Also, we kind of know how to to troubleshoot around it now. Um, let's see. So as you can see, our server is out there and live. There's a couple people on right now. Let's see who's on right now. We got some new people who have joined in the last couple days and man, they're putting in some hours. I appreciate you guys so much. That's so great. Okay. Yeah, 38 mods down from 50. That's a freaking huge improvement. Um, but anyway, the whole point of this is to you to see that, yes, like we are connecting to the online communities, and there it is. All right. So if we spin up the Daisy standalone launcher, you're going to want to set your end game name. The nice thing about this is it does it immediately for you. In your settings, you're going to want to point the path to the actual, you know, what do you call it? Execution file for the game. In game name, you can set. All good. Oops. That was an accident. see that it's got all your mods and look at that it shows up as there freaking weird right um favorite it sometimes we're here sometimes we're not i'm gonna be honest i don't really know 
but joining from here, you're going to hit do the drop down play. It should, in theory, manage all of your um, mods for you. And in theory, spin the game right up. All right, let, let's stay clicked in this time. Let's see if maybe we can, if whether or not the window was in the background, if you're all tabbed out, was a reason for that to happen. Ooh, I'm hopeful on this, actually. It would be great if we could get all this in just one sitting. Because I probably got to jump off here in the next 30 minutes or so. Because I need to do some work on a project that I am extremely excited about. But it's another side project. Let's see. What are my side projects right now? Um, what are my side projects? So, building your bunker my streaming channel 42 months after the entire server like adminning modding the community everything oh look at that it did it again that's interesting Yeah, yeah, I mean, fixes it every single time. Um, yeah, okay, so that's how you join. From Day Z Launcher. Interesting. Should we take a look at a couple other things? Like, what should we look at? Um, Ooh, I know. Let's jump over to the trader. I think this will where do you think this is gonna plop us? Slow admin tools. Ooh, right in the freaking water. Get us over there. Whoa. Yeah, that did it. All right. Let's dry these clothes off real quick here. Only my boots got wet? Extremely surprising. Yeah, check out this hoodie. Oh, it's so glorious. I had this t-shirt in, oh, I don't even know, 94, 95 maybe? 95, I think. Pretty sure I got sent home from school for wearing it, which meant I wore it under a hoodie. Okay, now that our crispy one clothes are on, let's talk about how to use the trader. Let's think about this. This little doodad is kind of magical. Um, so let's grab ourselves a few items and we'll demo how to use the um, the trainer right, let's, let's keep up all these bad boys 
boys. And let's go talk to this gentleman. So to use the trader. that way off it looks great for you all but i'm on a 32 by 9 monitor okay there we go that actually looks quasi decent on my end too so i'm on a 32 by 9 monitor but running at 1920 since i'm just doing some recording so anytime i go full screen it takes it and makes it basically what 51 50 50 120 by 1080 it just stretches it all out oh my goodness it looks awful okay so, to use our traders, simply walk up. When you get the prompt, press F. By default, you'll jump to the first page of many that the trader has. In the middle will be the items that you're sort of talking about or that is selected. So, for instance, if I select a sharpening stone, it'll talk about it here. Lock pick, same if I'm going the other way. You see a description normally of these items. Now, to see what you have for sale, you can actually cycle through what the trader has and the corresponding items that you have that are sellable will appear here in your inventory. As you cycle through, if you don't have anything, it'll be blank. But if you do have something, it'll show. If you go through, and let's say start at the, and scroll over to all, or even, uh, yeah, scroll over to all, you'll see you can't sell this item because you, this is everything that you have in your inventory, not just what you know this tra specific trader has to sell. So you want to just keep it unsellable, cycle through, and you'll see your items that are corresponding everything in your inventory that's corresponding to this section will be relevant. If you want to sell something, simply click on it. As long as the inventory isn't completely filled. So for example, we're looking and there are no whetstones right now and we have four of them. If we click over, we can set the trade quantity. Since this is an item that has a limited life, it can only be used a few times before it disappears. That's why this is 100, but we'll clone over four because that's 400, which means our total quantity. And we're going to sell all of them for $80 a piece. If we hit sell, it's now for sale in the trader for $100. There's a 20% markup from buy price, or the sell price, excuse me, to buy price. And they now have all four in stock. You don't have any. You can do this for all of your items. But let's say you know, you're on the all part and you're like, oh, well, this is an item that can be sold here. Like, you know, just say you cannot do it because you're not on the right section of the trader. If you're here, you, know, you can say sell. Oh, that's because it's not pristine. Because this is an item that I've used it a few times, it's not totally full, so I can't sell it. So that was a bad example. I'll, I'll probably only be able to have this one because it's you know, not totally used. Um, let's see another example here. So a box of nails, $40 a piece. I have a 10 count, of 10 boxes. If I set, use these toggles to set it over, you can also only sell a few of them if you don't want to sell them all. So the total price for $400 money drops into my account which I can see up here which is just the cash that I have on me it's not actual banking system or anything it's just the cash that you have in your wallet and the number of nails was added to the total amount here let's do the same thing with this code lock now available steep markup but that's the way it goes 
So this is the this works exactly the same across all the different traders. Here within the clothing trader, I don't have anything to sell them. Like I doubt I'll have much that can actually go for sale, if anything, on me. So a perfect example of I don't have anything that I can actually sell to this trader. Let's see what do I have though? I have some ammo and stuff. But if I talk to this gentleman, Boris, I can see all the blades that he has for sale. And then if I look at within ammunition, I can sell all these goodies including some box 9 mil. We get to see what I have in my inventory that he would be willing to buy. I have to scan through here. It's as simple as that. That's how to navigate the trader. How fun. Let's go ahead and jump out here. We'll look at repairing and updating mods. back to windowed mode go ahead and close the game out nice now the next time that I go to play DayZ like I'll need to get into the server I'll need to go back to one of the two launchers so let's look at how we change the name to update your name DayZ, um, to update your name using the Steam launcher you need to go to your parameters after hitting here, actually, let's start that over. You'll want to launch Daisy, which will give you the launcher. You go to parameters, and you'll see that profile name is checked, and you've entered a name. All parameters will show here. It's another way of getting to it. If you have other stuff that you want to check and get in, that's up to you, but this has to be done. If you come in with Survivor, which is the default for if this is unchecked and nothing is entered, you won't be able to join. Coming from the standalone launcher, this turd. When you first install, it'll ask you to enter a name. So you should be good as long as you don't just hit survivor is okay and hit enter. But if you want to update it, if you go to your settings, which is up here in the top right corner, you can go down to in-game name and update it with your player's name. Hitting this, I believe, saves everything. So you should be good on that. And that's how you do it. Now, there is a difference between that name and the any of the in-game name so you should be good if you do that you should be good and like i said in the way that we want to get in since all the mods are updated now there let's see let's talk about a scenario where you've seen that there is an update like you've downloaded it or you've heard heard other people talking about there being an update for mod but you've launched and all of your mods are already unloaded this is a plausible scenario. What you want to do is go over to the carrot, expand the mod that you've heard has had an update, press these little dots and hit repair. And what that will do is it'll check Steam to see if there's been an update to this mod. If there has, it'll just go ahead and automatically download and update it and you don't have to do anything. If you're trying to log in and you're seeing a screen that says, uh, or an error screen that says, <coughs> if you're trying to log in and you see a screen 
an uh, error screen that says the server has a more up-to-date version than the client. That means you need to do this to update, uh, manually update and repair your mod before trying to join. I can't think of anything else that would need a warrant, a how-to, if I'm being totally honest. Is there anything else? I don't think there is. I think that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to do. I need to do one with a um, quartermaster because people don't understand what that premise is. So maybe that's something I'll do. But I think we're good for right now. Thank you for hanging out while we putzed through this. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's going to be it for the day. Um, I'm going to go work on another project, but 